हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल एग्रीकल्चर एंड जीके मेरा नाम है सिंचना और आज मैं आप लोगों से सीड टेक्नोलॉजी में सीड क्वालिटी पर लेक्चर्स डिस्कस करूंगी वीडियो शुरू करने से पहले एक रिक्वेस्ट है अगर आप चैनल पर नहीं हैं तो प्लीज़ चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर लीजिए और इस वीडियो को लाइक और शेयर कर दीजिए सोता सो चाहिए शुरू करते हैं वीडियो पहले अब अब, अब Uh, अगर आप चाहिए तो बेस्ट बेस्ट स्टडी मटेरियल फॉर ऑल कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स सो प्लीज़ जॉइन अवर प्रीमियम व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप ओके सो तो चाहिए शुरू करते हैं वीडियो पहले हम डिस्कस करेंगे सीट क्वालिटी सीट क्वालिटी का डेफिनेशन सीट क्वालिटी के डेफिनेशन में चार शब्द ज़्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है ए है जेनेटिकन जेनेटिक प्योरिटी फिजिकल प्योरिटी एंड फिजियोलॉजिकल साउंडनेस एंड हेल्थ स्टेटस सो जेनेटिक प्योरिटी फिजिकल प्योरिटी फिजियोलॉजिकल क्वालिटी एंड सीड हेल्थ सो ये चार शब्द ज़्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है ये दिस कॉन्स्टिट्यूट्स द सीड क्वालिटी कैरेक्टर्स सो ये है इंपॉर्टेंट सो सीड क्वालिटी इज द पोसेशन ऑफ सीड विथ रिक्वायर्ड जेनेटिक एंड फिजिकल प्योरिटी दैट इज अकम्पनीड विथ फिजियोलॉजिकल साउंडनेस एंड हेल्थ स्टेटस सो चलिए हम देखते हैं पहले कैरेक्टर दैट इज फिजिकल क्वालिटी फिजिकल क्वालिटी मीन्स इट इज़ द क्लीनलीनेस ऑफ सीड फ्रॉम अदर सीड्स डेब्रीज इनोट मैटर डिसीज इट सीड एंड इंसेक्ट डैमेज इट सीड सो बाई रिमूविंग ऑल दीज सीड्स फ्रॉम द सीड लॉट वी विल गेट द प्योर सीड फ्रैक्शन ऑफ द सीड्स विच विल बी कॉल्ड एज फिजिकल प्योरिटी ऑफ द सीड्स ओके so the seed with physical physical purity or physical quality should have uniform size weight and color so physical purity means all the seeds in the pure seed fraction should have equal size weight and color and should be free from all the stones debris like inert matter with other crop seeds and inert material means the other crop seeds like this if uh, pulses is mixed with paddy so it should be pulses should be free from paddy and another uh, another inert matters like uh, stones twigs etc so it all should also be should be devoid of shriveled diseased mottled molded discolored damaged and empty seeds okay and the seed should be easily identifiable as a species of specific category of specific species so this means if we take pulses like a uh, cowpea so all the seeds in that pure seed fraction should be cowpea only and by seeing that seed so we could we we should understand that it is the cowpea seed so that's what here means it is identifiable as a specific category of a specific species so lack of this quality character will indirectly influence the field establishment and planting value of the seed means if there is a difference between seed size or seed shape or seed color so this will affect the field establishment and planting value means this will affect the seedling development or yield indirectly okay this quality character could be obtained with seed lots by proper cleaning and grading of of seed processing after collection and before sowing and storage okay so this quality is बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट है चलिए हाँ कमिंग टू फिजिकल प्योरिटी परसेंटेज सो ये पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम वेरी वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट है सो मेजॉरिटी ऑफ द सीट्स विल हैव ए फिजिकल प्योरिटी ऑफ अमोंग नाइन्टी एट परसेंट ओके अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट सो नाइन्टी फाइव परसेंट विल बी ऑफ टोबैको carrot and amaranthus so these seeds physical purity should be maximum of so minimum of 95% and maximum of 100% and coming to groundnut spinach and asparagus it should be of 96% jute soybean rapeseed and mustard the same and all other millets should be of 97% bhindi and niger should be 99% so this is the highest physical purity percentage seeds and this is the lowest physical purity परसेंटेज सीड्स ये ज़्यादा इम्पोर्टेंट है रिमेंबर दिस टोबैको कैरेट एमरस नाइन्टी फाइव परसेंट भिंडी एंड नाइजर नाइन्टी नाइन परसेंट ओके नेक्स्ट कमिंग टू फ्री फ्रॉम अदर क्रॉप सीड्स अदर क्रॉप सीड्स आर द प्लांट्स ऑफ कल्टिवेटेड क्रॉप्स फाउंड इन द सीड फील्ड एंड हु सीड्स आर सो सिमिलर टू क्रॉप सीड दैट इज डिफिकल्ट टू सेपरेट दैम इकोनॉमिकली बाई 
mechanical means it means other crops it's like uh, this is uh, black gram and this is green gram with black color seed so if it if both are in similar means it is difficult to separate by mechanical means means same size same weight same color so it is difficult to separate so that's what here telling other crop seeds so cause physical admixture with the crop seed only when these crop mature approximately at the same time means if black gram also mature at the same time and green gram also mature at the same time and both the seeds are harvested at the same time then physical admixture is a major problem in uh, seed production so uh, for example in case of barley wheat oats and gram is the other crop seeds means they will be having seed size shape color weight like same only and in case of oats wheat gram and barley and in case of wheat oat gram and barley so remember this wheat oat gram barley okay so if one is wheat is press wheat is the crop then others are other crop seeds means ogb so remember like small trick i am using so remember this okay next coming to free from objectionable wheat seeds objectionable wheat means see here this is the green gram okay for example or this is the wheat seed this is the wheat seed or this is the paddy seed and this is the wild fatua seed means they are similar in size similar in shape similar in color and it is also uh, impossible to remove by mechanical means okay here these are the plants of wheat species which are harmful in one or the more ways one what are the one or more ways means the size and shape are similar so hence it is difficult to remove by mechanical means or it may be uh, leading to harmful effects by having a competing effect for nutrition and water and their plant parts are poisonous or injurious to human or animal being and they serve as a alternate host for pest and diseases so these are the objectionable weed means not only for competing or not only for removing through mechanical means but also through the uh, uh, acting as an alternate host or causing some diseases in animals or humans so here is the list of uh, objectionable wheat species bahut important hai for the point of competitive exam so for bursting chikori is the objectionable wheat cucurbits for wild cucurbita species for wheat convolvulus arvensis for lettuce wild lettuce species for bendy wild abel mosca species rape seed and mustard argimona mexicana always asking for rice wild paddy and wheat is also important always will be asking in the exams okay next coming to genetic purity after physical purity when it's coming to genetic purity it is the true to two type nature of the seed that is seeding seedling plant or tree from the seed should be resemble its mother in all the aspects means it should be match the mother plant in all the genetical characteristics so this quality character is important for achieving the desired goal for raising crop for yield or for whatever purpose you are breeding so this is the genetic purity is majority important so highly genetic purity seeds are breeder or nucleus seeds that is genetic purity is 100% for foundation seed 99.5% certified seed 98% for certified hybrid seeds 95% this is for variety this is for hybrid coming to cotton 90% and castor 85% that is for certified hybrid cotton and castor important hai remember this next coming to physiological quality means the uh, in ability of the seed or ability of the seed to give a plant or to perform some function that is called physiological quality so it is the actual expression of the seed in further generation or multiplication means ability of a seed to produce a seedling or to express some characters that is what we called as physiological quality and this characters of seed comprises of seed germination and vigor a two concepts important here coming to germination it is the ability of the seed for production of seedling with normal root and shoot under favorable condition which will be called as germination percentage and it is it will be tested on pure seed fraction means after testing the physical purity we will be checking the germination so for pure live seed fraction we will calculate by using this formula important hai 
remember it with pure life seed is equals to purity percentage into germination percentage divided by 100 next coming to seed weaker degree of liveness of seed is called as seed weaker important here and it indicates the ability of the seed to emerge in varying environmental conditions and based on the degree of performance sorry based on the performance of production of a light seed it is classified into high medium and low weaker seeds and this germination and weaker will be tested in the laboratory conditions and it will be next it will be divided into high medium and low weaker seeds okay next coming to all uh, this sentences are important all viable seeds need not be germinable means if the seeds are live or if the seeds are viable which can it, like nothing but it should be germinable but all germinable seeds should be viable means if the seeds is germinated means it should be viable okay similarly all vigorous seeds will be germinable but all germinable seeds need not be vigorous means all vigorous seeds are germinable because they have a strength to produce the seedlings hence it is germinable but all germinable seeds will not be vigorous means if the seed is germinating means that means it should not be producing only good seedlings uh, it should be free from disease free seedlings or it should be free from damage and all it is not compulsory so these two statements are very very important coming to moisture content of the seed it's an important factor which influences the seed viability during the storage both important hai during certification and distribution to the farmers so optimum moisture content for cereals is 10 to 12 percent protein sorry pulses is 7 to 9 percent and oil seeds is 6 to 7 percent because it will cause some uh, hydrogenation reactions all other reactions and cause rancidity and the seed may get damaged so least moisture content is for oil seeds coming to seed health here the seed should be free from seed born diseases or uh, seed surface born diseases etc and seed infestation infestation means surface infestation or infection it should be free from this and this insects directly damages the embryo which will causes further problems in sowing means emergence problems will be faced okay next so this is the designated diseases and causal organism list so a list zyada important in case of uh, uh, competitive exams so for wheat designated disease is loose mud causal organism is hustilago tritici and for sorghum grain smut or kernel smut caused by specilothica sorghi for mustard alternaria blight caused by alternaria species for pearl millet grain smut green ear ergot three designated diseases called caused by these organisms and for sesame leaf spot is the designated disease for brinjal little leaf for chili anthracnos for chili and cowpea anthracnos for cucurbits mosaic cucurbits and bendy for l bendy's yellow vein mosaic and potato brown rot and root knot nematode and for tomato early blight and leaf spot so these are the designated diseases list so it's a hit of screenshot uh, like it out or is that important a in point of view of all your competitive exams so coming to final conclusion that high quality seeds should have so it should have high genetic percentage or physical purity it should have germinability it should be have high weaker if it has a high weaker if it has a germinability it should have field establishment free from pest and diseases that is seed health should be good and a good shape size color means it should have good physical purity high longevity of shelf life during the storage condition and indirectly influenced by the moisture content that is optimum optimum moisture content high market value if it has all these characters then it will definitely have a high market value position of good shape size color according to specification of variety high physical soundness and weight and high storage capacity means if it has a high storage capacity it will have a good market value it will be having a good shelf life so this is the high quality seeds high quality characters possessed by a high quality seeds coming to significance of a high quality seed if the seeds having a high quality means what is the use of it having a high quality so ensures genetic and physical purity of the crop and if it indirectly influences the yield 
okay and it de give desired plant population means if it having a uniform size uniform shape uniform physical purity then it will have a good plant population then capacity to withstand adverse condition means if the genetic purity is good then it will ability to, to withstand the adverse condition seedlings produced will be more vigorous fast growing and can resist the pest and disease incidents to certain extent if it will be more vigorous means it will having a good fert, uh, absorbing good fertilizers or good nutrients and it will have some resistance towards pest and diseases next ensures growth and maturity uniform growth and maturity and development of root system will be more efficient so that uh the plant higher will will be obtained so this is the maximum importance for high quality seeds and it will response to added fertilizer and other inputs so indirectly it influences this one and good quality seeds of improved variety ensures higher yield up to 10 to 12 percent remember this so this is the significance of high quality seeds okay so guys i hope uh, a video up आपके लिए बहुत यूजफुल रही होगी अगर आपको वीडियो अच्छी लगी तो प्लीज वीडियो को लाइक कर दीजिए ज्यादा से ज्यादा शेयर कर दीजिए और हमें सब्सक्राइब कर लीजिए और ये टेबल्स ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है इन्हें आपको नोट कर लीजिए और स्क्रीनशॉट लीजिए ये ज्यादा से ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है इन केस ऑफ सीटेक और इन केस ऑफ जेरफ प्रिपरेशन सो ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है नोट कर लीजिए एंड थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग मिलेंगे नेक्स्ट वीडियो में